Hi there dog lovers, my name is Kate and this is my dog Boots <laughs> and today we are going to talk about automatic ball launchers. If you've ever considered buying an automatic ball launcher for your dog, I can highly recommend it. As you can see now, Boots is super keen. Today we're going to review the PetSafe ball launcher and the iFetch ball launcher. Both of them have a few similarities in that they can use main power or battery power. Uh, they can, and you can adjust how far the ball gets thrown. You, for the pet safe, you can use any size ball. For the iFetch, you can only use these little mini balls, um, which can be a bit problematic. Anyway, someone is super keen to get going, as you can see. So let's get stuck in. Okay, first up we have the PetSafe Ball Launcher. This one retails for about $299 in New Zealand. You can use any size ball. Boots is waiting for his. Um, but Boots prefers a little mini size chuck it ball. Seems to be his favourite. You can adjust how far the ball is thrown and the angle of the throw. And again, you can use 240 volts or batteries. So basically the dog will pop it in. It makes a bit of a warning noise and then voompa shoots it out. Bring it back, pop it in, in, no, in, 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 bits, no, bits, pop it in, good. And ideally the, the dog will put the ball back into the slot. The sensor will read when the ball comes back in and away it goes again, off it goes. Uh, we've had this for about six months. Boots is happy to use it, but he doesn't love it. He has a lot of trouble putting the ball back in at the top, and I haven't worked that out yet. Um, he, he will do it, but he seems to hesitate. Boots, put it in. Come on. In, in, in. Pop it in. Go. Let it go. Come on. In. In. Boots, in. Yes. So he can do it. I don't know why he hesitates like that. He doesn't do that with the eye fetch. Um, the other thing this one does have is a little safety sensor here. So if the dog is too close, the ball won't shoot out and it will also shut down after 30 minutes. Uh, as I said, retails for about $299 in New Zealand. So now we'll move on to the iFetch, which I have to say is Boots' all-time favourite toy. So very small, very light, easily transportable, can use by battery or plug-in power. Um, you do have to use the little, the, it comes with the little eye fetch balls, but these break really easily. They don't last long at all. You can also use the Kong squeaky balls, or I've just been online and bought a whole lot of these Amazon, cheap Amazon balls in bulk, but you have to get the extra small 1.5 inch. Um, turning it on at the base, you can adjust how far it goes, level one, two or three, and then pop the ball in, get a nice wind up noise and away it goes pop it in bed in it goes go um in go 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 quick good boy boots does stand ridiculously close to this one not so bad that time but it was one of my worries when we first purchased this machine was how close he was standing go pop it in um i so i did do a first aid course to make sure i could remove a ball from his throat if it did get lodged but we've actually had this machine for four years now and it's never happened touch wood so um but i always do use it with supervision so he will this does not have a safety feature where it doesn't matter how close you use it the ball will still shoot out and it doesn't have a lockout period um uh, as per the pet safe which locks you out after 30 minutes pop it in go so boots will honestly use this go pop, in 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 quick uh for a, a long time i've been on the treadmill for an hour run and he'll still be furiously using the eye fetch over and over again it's a really good way of exhausting him physically and mentally, particularly if it's terrible weather outside, um, too hot or too cold and rainy. It's great for both environments and even just some mental stimulation. Um, so it's good for all round training for your dog. Uh, this retails at about 200 to 250 uh, Aussie Kiwi dollars. Um, and it, the, the downside, main downside with this one is the balls. I have contacted iFetch to make some better balls. So fingers crossed they'll get onto that, please, iFetch. Just a quick little note on the iFetch 2, which is the bigger version of this little iFetch machine. We did try that one as well, but we sent it back after a month. Uh, Boots just wasn't enjoying it at all. 
you basically pop the ball in the top like Boots is doing, but it shoots the ball out straight away without any wind up noise. So Boots found that he just lost interest really quickly because the ball was already shot away and he couldn't get a chance to catch. Which is interesting because when we play fetch outside, I throw the ball and he chases it, but he likes to be the catcher in this environment. So uh, the iFetch 2 may be better if your dog likes to chase after something rather than be standing in front and catching it. It does retail for about $399, so a little bit more expensive as well. So that's our wrap up of automatic ball fetches. The PetSafe versus the iFetch versus the iFetch 2, which is the bigger iFetch machine. My recommendation is definitely the iFetch, but Boots will equally, well not quite equally, he'll, he's happy to use this one as well, but if there's a choice, if they're both plugged in, he'll always go with this one. I think he finds it easier to pop the ball in, uh, he likes the smaller ball, and I think he loves that wind up, that's ridiculously close, that's what I was worried about uh, him choking, but as I say, four years of continual use, and it hasn't happened yet, touch wood, hey? Good boy! Feel free to drop us a line, ask any questions. Uh, if you want tips on how to train it, it is quite, um, I, I guess you've got to have a bit of patience to train your dog, but it also depends on what sort of dog you've got. Boots is super smart, being a Border, Kel border Collie Kelpie working dog. Um, so he learned how to use it in about 30 seconds. <laughs> so I was very lucky there. Um, but I do think it's a great investment for a working dog that doesn't get to run a mob issue. Thanks for watching. Good boy. In, in, in. Good job. Good boy. <laughs>